Welcome back for an episode of the School of Railway. So I was following up with the modification of my tracheal uh, modification for surgical airway practice, modification of this existing mannequin for surgical airway practice. Um, I'm going to introduce a product that's called uh, the control crank with the crank key. Uh, sold by Pomodyne, invented by my mentor, Richard Levitt. Uh I got this through Kevin High, uh, this training kit. And it has instructions, and I'll show you how they suggest you use it, and I'll suggest to you how I would use it. Make sense? So this will be part one of using the control crank. So in the kit, you'll have a strap, a novel strap, and I'll show you how it's used a little later. This is acting, this uh, crank key is acting like a bougie short with the tracheostomy tube with cuff. No uh, added devices to be put on the end to connect to a DVM connector. Um, you can bag right away uh, through this device. And specially designed to allow you to strap this on. Instead of using sutures or needles. Okay, very novel, very unique, very pretty. There's style to this, okay? Uh, and mind you, this is all been recommended to the military, uh, and regardless of what color it is, they're taught you the surgical race by feel. Not with bright lights, because then you have a sniper hitting you, killing you while you're trying to save your colleague's life. So, uh, this is the correct, the control crank. Look at the knife, the correct knife. Disengage it. It's very sharp. Okay. Uh, the patient has very thin anatomy, very cachectic, and uh, anatomical landmarks are very obvious. Hard as not to cut. Obese. Go for cut. Feel around. Commit to the hard as not to cut. And then this is allowing. The hook that's already incorporated on this. Okay, very careful. Now he's going to teach you what's traditionally taught, and when you put it in, the hook goes attached to the prominent, very prominent thyroid cartilage, and to keep the whole the tract in, in, in place. It'll make more sense when I show you the demonstration. So, put this back on. I'll provide the artificial skin that I did mention. That I borrowed from Trauma Man. See, skin, fat. I can make this multi layer, which is very difficult and very easy for myself. Create an artificial thick neck. That opposed tissue for this mannequin. Can't make it easy. Life ain't easy. Understandable? Okay. Now, Feel my landmarks from my right hand down in case I get Parkinson's, I get the nervous Nellies. Okay. Made a decision to make a surgical airway for whatever reason. Okay. I feel a divot. I feel what could be the thyroid cartilage, but if there's thick skin in, in between, hmm. So I commit to a vertical cut. Start feeling around. Okay. So I'm feeling around. I think I feel horizontal. Put a stab, stab it horizontally. I push forward the hook. I disengage it. And now I have captured, have trapped, caught on the hook. With our cartilage. I would use this cry key now. Enter to the side. Engage. Engage. Commit. Disengage the hook. Nothing pops. As far as we can. 
Hold on. Inflate my cuff. Connect to a DVM. For chest rise. Entitled CO2 if no one trusts me. Okay. The tube is in. Okay. So, was that hard? No. When can you get this? Go online and order it. Military grade, if it's good enough for our soldiers, it's probably good enough for our civilians. Correct? No. Any questions? Please come back for part two on my modification of how I would use this device. Thank you.